On Mount Sinai, we performed stereotactic uh, radiosurgery using the Novalis uh, shape beam system. The reason why uh, we think that this is the best uh, stereotactic radiosurgery equipment currently available is uh, because it uh, allows us to precisely focus uh, uh, lesions that uh, with other systems would not be amenable to radiosurgery. Stereotactic radiosurgery is basically surgery without uh, a scar without an incision. And the way in which I describe this to my patient is that um, during the stereotactic radiosurgery procedures, I use the uh, exactly identical equipment that I would be using in surgery. However, at the end of all the planning and preparation, instead of using a knife and cut through the skin and make the skin bleed and give a scar, at the end of the preparation, uh, we use the uh, radiation beam that is precisely delivered to that lesion. Another advantage of the uh, Novalis is that the shape of the beam can be constantly changed throughout the uh, treatment. And therefore, we can shape the uh, size uh, of the uh, radiation beam to exactly the geometry of the tumor. What they're offering with this Novalis machine is the fact that they can target the tumor only. You don't feel anything while it happens, but the tumor is uh, in the tumor itself uh, it's experiencing lots of DNA damage. DNA is the, the molecule of life that keeps you know, every cell alive and it keeps cancer cells alive. So if you can give enough DNA damage to the cancer cell, it will just die on its own. In addition, the intensity of that uh, radiation beam can be uh, increased or decreased. And we can really do some very fancy um, geometrical changes with the beam. This is an example where we took a regular x-ray and using the Novalis, we were able to give a lot of radiation over here to uh, design the hair of Einstein. And over here where we wanted to design the forehead, we closed all the beams and we gave just a little amount of radiation. So this is just an example to show how accurate we can be in uh, shape and uh, degree of radiation for each of the patients that we're treating. I asked Dr. Germano about whether the radiation would itself cause uh, cancer later and she had actually done one of the major studies on this topic and said that with the Novalis machine um, the chances are very 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 slim now. Because this is not traditional surgery the patient does not have to shave their head or undergo any of the extensive preparation that they would uh, a traditional surgical patient would. There's no drugs beforehand like with surgery. Um, there's no tension of going down on the gurney into the OR or anything like that. This was easy. <laughs> there was no there was no invasion. I, the uh, I was here just for one day and left. And the day before procedure, patients should not eat after midnight. They can have, if they have medications to take, they can take it with some sips of water. And, and that, that's pretty much it. Once the radio surgery day arrives, the, the night before, I give them a call and um, ask them to come in at 6.30 in the morning, then register and meet with the admitting staff. Welcome to Mount Sinai Radio Surgery. Here's your gown. Make yourself comfortable, okay? And once they, they change into their gown, there's an intravenous inserted by the nurse. And from there they go to the OR for the head frame placement. With the radio surgery, of course, they put a halo on your head, um, which is a little uncomfortable. Um, it's sort of not screwed in, but it's like uh, almost bolted in. They don't want your head moving during the procedure. It really wasn't uncomfortable for me to have it on, and I had it on for about 12 hours. This is me. The purpose of the mask is to make sure that I stay very, very still so that they get the tumor and not any of my brain. After the head frame placement, they're transported to CAT scan to scan for images.
And the third phase is the planning, and that can take from uh, an hour to a few hours. When we sit down at the uh, computer to prepare the planning for the uh, treatment, there is a radiation oncologist, there is a neurosurgeon, there is a, a physicist, and there are also other physicians that are involved in the patient care. What they're able to do in the treatment planning system is fuse the MRI and the CT. The uh, various images platforms uh, are fused to increase accuracy. We use the computer to rotate, simulate radiation beam. Rotate the couch, rotate the gantry. Then we design, okay, I want how much dose from this field, I want how much dose from the other field to go ahead and deliver dose to give a good distribution to the tumor. And then they hang out with their family members or friends in the care center where they can watch TV, play games, eat. And then um, the department calls them once they're ready for the treatment. The patient lies on a table, flat on their back. We'll play nice music for them so they're nice and relaxed. We're gonna set up the patient. We're gonna explain to them entirely what's gonna happen, that everything is gonna be painless. They won't feel any treatment the radiation is invisible, they won't see anything. All I see at all are just little, kind of like little tinkerbells of light going across my eyes and, and, and that's it. Most patients, once they receive their treatment, they're able to just walk out of our department and go home. Before the patient goes home, the patient receives a full array of, of numbers, which includes myself, um, the neurosurgeon, Dr. Germano, radiation oncologist, Dr. Green. They are available 24 hours. I will also provide them a list of follow-up visits. Good morning, my name is Lon. I'm calling from Mount Sinai Radio Surgery. I'm calling regarding your follow-up appointment. When uh, treating patients, obviously, we always want to make the best uh, possible clinical decision. However, a patient is not just uh, a disease, a patient is a person. We try our best to answer the questions and to be there for our patients. Anything you do with this disease is scary. Anything they tell you is scary. And uh, basically, once they get going with you, working with you, and treating you and taking care of you, the way they do it, they take your fears right away, and uh, that's about the best thing that, that they do here.